Hey, Black Tooth Claymation here. Got an EZ20 Sanyo monitor. I think it's a Sanyo. It might just be a cheap version of it. Anyways, uh, same cap kit style. Uh, what I am going to do today is I'm going to discharge this monitor. And I'm going to take off all these wires. And then I'm going to... I'm going to get some better lighting here, first of all. <laughs> so here, I'm going to take off this cap here. Or that's not a, a cap. I don't know what they call that. They, I'm going to take that off there. Plunger. What is it, like a plunger thing? And uh, after I take that off, then I got this wire that I rigged. I'm going to rig it from the body or the frame to the screwdriver. And I'll touch it to the point in there. That's the fun part to see the little charge. <laughs> Let's see what we can get. So here's a little, that little hole there. So this is... Take your screwdriver, like I said, you got it to the frame. And there's probably going to be a jolt here, so I even got rubber gloves on just to be safe. But here we go. Woo! <laughs> and <laughs> that's always fun. So that's how you discharge a monitor. And uh, go ahead and do that a couple times, you know. Like I'd. I'd recommend maybe even four or five. See, there's a little more there on that second time. Whew, that'll get your heart going. I just got electrocuted <laughs> about an hour ago when I was trying to touch one of this, this pot right here. As a matter of fact, that one right there. Then when I touched, my hand touched right in this area. And so I was grounded out, and there's a power there, so you can imagine... It was. It didn't hold me to it. So it was just enough to get your hair standing up. Yep, there's still a little bit there. So I do it about four or five times because I just had this plugged in about an hour ago. When it, when I got electrocuted, it was I was messing with it when it was plugged in because you gotta adjust that horizontal pot potometer and um, yeah. Anyways, but the problems I've been having with this is there's a rolling issue. It keeps continues to roll. It won't stop rolling. And even if you even if you mess with the um, horizontal, uh, what is it, vertical hold and all that. Even if you mess with that, and the, there's a what they call that the H pot down there, that black one. You could probably barely see it. In between there, it's hard to see right in there. Anyways, I messed around with that too, and I, it didn't come out of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and check my caps because I just did a cap kit on this, and I think my uh, might have one loose or something. I did double check them, but I suppose you. Check them more than two times. Check them four or five times. You know, this is my first cap kit, so it's, you know, you take your time. Do it right. So, yeah, I'll have to do the same thing. Take these back out. Uh, trying to think of what else I need to say. Yeah, you take this cord out here. I'll take that out. These are the audio soundboard. And that's the potometer or whatever the adjusters. Hmm. The flyback. You got the yoke here. So in order to take this off, there's a few things I gotta do. And you know, first things first, I'll take this off there. Get that out of my way, I'm all done with that. 
I should be. I could try it again. Okay, to be safe, I checked it again. It had a little more juice in it. I'm probably going to do that a couple more times. Because like I said, it was just plugged in just a little bit ago. Um, okay, so let's see here. This needs to come off. This here is a... Needs to come off. Might want to do all this with two hands. So this basically just pulls right off. It's easy cheesy. Just slides right off. So let's go ahead and take that off and take this wire off. It's the same process here. It took off the red, green, and blue and ground. That was right there. Right. Uh, sorry, my light's bad here. Uh, where is it? Well, it was right by the capacitor there. And I got a few more wires to disconnect here. It's the same thing as when I took it off the first time. So the basic tools I need, you know, I need the soldering gun, that flat screwdriver, that wire, toenail clippers works good for chopping off the wires after you go through the caps, um, wire cutters, I use a Leatherman for, I, <laughs> for a few things but uh, just a little small screwdriver to get these kind of things out but I'm gonna leave that down in there this part has to come out because I'm gonna leave these connected so, there's just a screw there screw there screw there um, and a screw here to get the board out there's only one screw to get the board out so this is pretty easy to get this out and pull it out and just put it right here all right, so now I got that off. So you can look at all angles of that. You can see the capacitors I put on there, they're all purple. Um, I got the old capacitors too. I, I don't know, I'll probably throw those away. There's no sense in saving the old capacitors. Even though they didn't look that old, they're probably shot. And a capacitor kit is about 20 bucks, $5 for shipping probably. Um, so yeah, here, what I'm going to do is overlook all of these and make sure that... Oh, that looks blurry. I'm going to overlook all that and make sure that all that solder is sitting good. See, like, these are the caps, so they're circled, and it says C, like, okay, C201. That's a cap there, so I'll wiggle it on the other side, see if it's loose. I'm going to use this magnifier here, wipe that off because it's a little dusty. You get the idea. Anyways, uh, yeah, hope this works hope I can get this going like I said this is my first time but capacitors don't seem as hard as I thought they would you know I've been I've been thinking about doing this for years I'm finally just jumping into it so if anybody's watching this video and thinking oh I don't know if I could do it anybody if I can do it you can do it anybody can do it it's you know you don't have to look up schematics just do these one at a time and uh you do want to look at your instruction sheet if they send you an instruction sheet because that tells you, you know, like for instance, I was just talking about C201. Well, there it is. It says C201, that'd be 100 UF at 50 volts. And some of these are updated ones, so they got a little more higher voltage. So I'm wondering if that might be screwing with my monitor too little things I might have to up my voltage on it or something we'll see we're at that fun part now we're testing the B pot and the way to test that B pot is there's a little part there that I'm connected to that red cord that's connected to a spot there that says BJ 
<laughs> so that's a tough spot to get to but you can get to it and then you just put the ground right there and I'm reading at 109 and I know these are supposed to be at 108 but I'm not going to turn it down because those capacitors can handle a little more see this is what we're looking at oh I got my flash on so you can't really see the glory of the screen as much because I got the light on here let's try to cover the light oh no I can't I can't I just can't oh, that just puts my finger in the way doesn't it anyways I wanted to show you that b-pot real quick but yeah this this monitor looks good so I can't really I'm happy with my cap kit you know like I I had a vertical rolling issue it solved that then it actually went to a collapse to where I had nothing besides a, a straight line let's see if you can see how nice that color looks the colors are great the cap kit did a good job um, or I did a good job <laughs> yeah that's my not too bad for my first cap kit you know I'm impressed it took me a while it took me a the cap kit itself didn't take long to do, but I, all the troubleshooting and other stuff took a while. Planning on putting that bad boy in here, and this one will have to get a cap kit eventually too. I got one on the way. Probably gonna do that one, or I got another one I'm thinking about doing first. But yeah, digging it, like it, man. How you can. I mean, these monitors are, gee, you know, how old? I'm trying to guess. Let's see, 1980 maybe? That's around Pac-Man time. So I uh, maybe 81, 82. That's, let's see, that's quite a, what is that, 40 years old? Monitor's 40 years old. I can almost guarantee a lot of those LCD ones that they make and sell at Walmart will not make it that long. <laughs> Yeah, these are cool. These old CRTs should be produced. They should start making these again. They're pretty awesome. Okay, let's see if you can. Yeah, see how you can see it says Mike Tyson all over the place. That's good colors, you know. Showing the true white. If I didn't have this flash on, you could tell even better. Get close there, you can really see. Goofy flash. Anyways, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. I'm right here too. Oh, you're right there too? You're always watching. You're always watching the, the YouTube videos, aren't you? I need to turn that flash off so they can see it better. Because the flash kind of takes away from the nice colors. You get the idea though.